Welcome to After 5 Radio in conversation with Each week we are in conversation with our artists in the diaspora R-A-D-I-O. After 5 Radio Mike Yes Mr. Xavier how's it going uh, I love your energy is lit, man. Yo, my energy is lit. How about yours? Yeah, I think I think I think I wish I had the same energy you do right now. But uh, ah, we'll do it. dude, your energy is lit as well. <laughs> it's super lit. I'm in Canada. Why not? You only live once. <laughs> Anyway, let me just do um, our intros before we get um, into um, today's interview. So uh, to everybody that's tuned in right about now, uh, welcome, welcome uh, to After 5 Radio, your favorite online radio station showcasing Zimbabweans in the diaspora. I am your host, a.k.a. the Hype Lady, Miss Tanjo Amy, coming to you live all the way from uh, Canada. And joining me today is a I'm a piano artist. Well, he's an artist, not just musical artist. He's a comedian. He now hosts a podcast. He's a creator. And you name it. Yes. So shout out to you, Mr. Xavier. Welcome. Welcome to After Five Radio. Hey, what's going on? How you doing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Right now, I don't even know if I should speak with my like Canadian accent. Oh, oh, I should oh, yeah. do my normal accent. No. Yeah, so, so which I don't one is your normal accent? Do do you're a comedian. You're a comedian. Which one uh, is your my normal accent? My, my normal accent. My normal accent is this one. Uh, this one is my normal accent. <laughs> what I did you tell me? Deep down, okay, deep down. I get you. I get you. <laughs> this is really me. Deep down. <laughs> oh, this, this is really me. <laughs> no, I'm joking, man. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. No, but welcome to Canada, Xavier. We really appreciate um taking your time out, uh, you know, flying all the way from the UK. And Canada's sad gone. enough, you didn't get to experience Canada, the Canada, the cold Canada. Yeah, no, not sad enough. Like glad that I obviously that's not the Canadian experience I'm having. But I've had like I've had like um like the Canadian experience before, so it's fine, you know, it's just this time. It's nice yeah. to just arrive and it's nah, you know, that's... And that's it's nah, what, very good. It's, nah, <laughs> it's nice. Like, the, the snow is from afar, you know, you're walking no more, you know, it's cool. Like, you know, I got this thing that I, that I, that I, I had to do today, and it was yeah. called the Canada Walk. So, yeah. stay true for the Canada Walk. Oh, okay, okay. So we should we expect to watch it? Are we supp- are we going to watch it on on Instagram? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna upload something, but I'm actually I believe in this trend. It's called the Canada Walk. You're gonna see the walk. It's just <laughs> I would do it now, but I don't want the Canada Walk to take over. You know our conversation. You feel me? So exactly. Yeah, no, that's fine. We will definitely the look at the Canada it. Walk. Sing the Canada Walk. <laughs> Wherever you are, you're gonna, to the, see. you're gonna do the Canada walk. Whether you're in Edmonton, whether you're in Zimbabwe, whether you're yeah. in Hawaii, whether you're yeah. in London, Australia, yeah. you're gonna do Anywhere the Canada walk. In the world. You're gonna do the Canada walk. But so, yeah, man, I'm I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. So let's just dive, dive right into um, today's um, interview as you bring our listeners up to speed with um, your upbringing and a little bit about your background. Well, I bring in my background. So I was born in SA, uh, South Africa, and I was raised in Zimbabwe and Mozambique. Um, I grew up in London. So when it comes to my upbringing, it's a bit, it's out of this world. And um, I'm honored to be uh, the person that I am, if I have to say, because like the, the culture, the difference, the understanding of all sorts of different cultures is something that I'm, I'm happy to, to have, you know, and understanding is the importance. So um, where I've come from, ish. yeah, Guneng, Guneng, Guneng. I, 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 I went to school 
in um, Zimbabwe. I went to boarding school in Zimbabwe. Um, and obviously going to school in, in, in Zim was something for me that was like super exciting. You know, I was, I was really happy in Zim. And then, um, I don't know, maybe it's just the way I, I, I lived it. Then obviously from that, I, I, I went to England for like a holiday. That's what I was told at the time anyway, that I was going for a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> that holiday like just began like that just became my life you know so um yeah when it comes to upbringing i had a bit of like ukulele kaya and i've obviously mm -hmm. had a bit of growing up in england and now i'm an adult so i'm just out here you know um mm -hmm. driving for what i believe in so yeah i grew up in zim and um a bit like obviously you i grew up mostly in the uk i've been in london now for 20 yeah. odd years and i was right. only in zim like a few years like 10 years so what really I'm... actually did you yeah. about learning in zim you mentioned that it was quite exciting having to be raised I, and learning i did my school there i did my school there and just growing up in zim at that time i think it's one of those things that we as like the 90s babies mm -hmm. like if you grew up a kaya you'd know that experience that we had i know things obviously were coming all the way down um mm -hmm. but just to be in that process or transition of the whole Zimbabwean thing from the good times to the times that are happening whenever they did to whenever we are now mm -hmm. it was just like an amazing experience of zim and i think everyone still holds within themselves um but yeah mm -hmm. that was that was that was that was like one of my best memories growing up if i can rem if i can recall basically so if people were to ask you yeah where you're originally from would you say your birth place or would you say zimbabwe being zimbabwe being the place that kind of groomed you that kind of raised you in a way i think my issue is i've never actually had to I was never trained to answer that question, if I can honestly speak. Uh, I was never trained to answer that question. So I don't know. Did Zimbabwe mm. groom me? Potentially. Mm. I grew up with my grandma. Mm. I, 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 yeah. I look after my grandma, you know. Yeah. Uh, and she's someone just amazing mm -hmm. to you know, in the, in this life for me personally, simply because of one, the experiences she's had and mm -hmm. um, the influence she's had on other people because she was a teacher. So mm -hmm. for you to, to be able to teach in Zim in a certain period of time and for me to mm -hmm. also be part of that regime secretly mm -hmm. is um, an interesting thing. So yeah, like... Did Zimbabwe mold me and influence me 100%, but I was influenced by other things out of Zimbabwe, you know? Right. I am, I am a product of Zimbabwe. My mom is from Zimbabwe. My dad is from Mozambique. Right. So, right. But I was raised by my grandma. So it's, you know, there's a, there's a lot of um, shape, shift, understanding to, to have to go through with my with me as a person and it's crazy because i don't really get in depth about who i am personally but it's nice right. to be able to rest that with you can i ask you something my camera angle i don't know if it's right or maybe <laughs> if <I'm learning. laughs> it, it, we, 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 yes that's even better but yes there you go so if you there we go we like that as long as now your camera is no level because it's, 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 it's <laughs> Not to an Instagram pose, is you know, you know. But yeah, no, I didn't realize that this this is the way to do it. Yeah, so, well, I'm, that's why I'm about, I'm about this. That it's easier to do computer. That's why I was telling yeah, it's easier because computer's to do computer. landscape. Yeah, exactly. I was lazy to log in on the computer if I'm. Yeah, but I'm no, lazy. we're we're grateful that you actually. Yeah. You're always so what? I don't I think it's for me. Ah, uh, streaming out the app, but Chrome was a bingo. 
Yeah, Chrome is, is quite interesting. So we actually have um, bangers here saying Natulani Way. Natulani Way, what, what, what does it mean? Natulani, man, I don't, I don't know what that is. You know, is that Canadian or something, Natulani? What's that? <laughs> That's I am that. Canadian, but I don't even know what he's talking about. Oh, you don't know that. You don't know. You don't know that Natulani. Oh, that you know Natulani way. I don't know that. You tell yeah. me. First thing. Yeah, no, Natulani is uh, based. No, shout out to Bangers. Is it Bangers? I think I met Bangers today. Yes, Bangers. Oh, you met him? Oh, you met them? Yes. Oh, they're mm. a duo. Maybe I went. I met one half of Bangers. <laughs> maybe you met the other half yeah no i did meet one half of bangers but yeah like not anyway yeah i'm not Tulani. yeah it's an interesting one um that one it's an interesting one can we can we just get a glimpse of that interestingness of not anyway uh not too long anyway was a, a concept that i came up with based on a zimbabwean woman who, who migrated from uh, Zimbabwe to the United Kingdom to find a better life for her and her son, Tulani. And the aim was to just explore different um, understandings in terms yeah. of culture, um, you know, where Natulani grew up versus where Tulani is growing up. And we're just basically showcasing mm -hmm. the different challenges. Um, that's something that I started on Instagram as a joke, and then people actually, you know, yeah. yeah. Then I then uh, Mangesto hit me up and he was like, "Yo, let's film this properly." Yeah. And yeah, when he, when he hit me up and we we recorded it, it was a vibe. Um, they... Yeah, it was amazing. Donnell obviously was playing Tulani as well, so shout out to him. Um, Donnell Mangena. Donnell Mangena. Yeah, he's the one that oh, plays wow. the role of 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 Tulani. And um, I need to look yeah. it up. I need to look it up. Yeah, no, definitely yeah. It's something that we we did and something that we're looking to work forward, um, work work with, work onto actually. Yeah, yeah. So do you know do you know I'm a Mangena? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's okay. it. Not Amanda, Amanda, not Mangena. That's it. I think I said it the American way, Amanda, like. <laughs> <laughs> <it's kind of laughs> That's it. Ah, 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 yeah. please, but I'm glad you actually said it not under probably because the Canadian way is not Fando. I'm like, I don't say in Canada. I just say it as Amanda, like oh, as in the normal oh, Amanda. They're lazy yeah. to say the other one. They are the not under one. Jesus, I am tired of them butchering it, but we how correct. Do they, how do they butcher it? Let's just see how they butcher it. Not Fando. Oh, no, Fando. <laughs> And they end up pushing, and they end up adding an R where it's not where it's not supposed to be oh, there. No fando, no fando, no fando, no fando, no fando. <laughs> you know, yeah, like you guys, you guys here, you've got this. It's funny, man. It's funny, man. It's your own, no. it's your own. Like the Kulubela, like you guys speak through your noses for real, like. Okay, you know, I know. Maybe, maybe. Isn't you heard me earlier on when I said we oui, we? Oui, huh? I speak Chinese. I speak Mandarin. I speak French. Oh man, that's crazy. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, that's so funny. So as we're talking about comedy or getting into who you are as a person and why people ended up gravitating towards your comedy, do you mind um, letting uh, br just letting us know how people, family, friends would describe you as an individual? I'm quiet as hell. I'm like the most boring person you. anyway. I don't believe you. Let me tell you, like for me, I am the most quietest, peacefulest, um, chilled out person that I know. Um, that it's you just interesting. Yeah, people's perception of me, it's, it's false. <laughs> I'm not who they think I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, so, I'm so, so, so it's also media. Yeah, yeah, come back, man, got you. A hundred percent. Don't believe. Yeah. Don't believe the socials. No, no, no. Don't yeah. believe the socials. If people really, um, if someone one day I will do like a day in the life, and 
yeah. the perception that people have of me might change. Really? Because I'm not, I'm really not who the world thinks I am. You know, I find it to be, I actually kind of believe you to a certain extent because I find people who are as wow, loud, extroverted, you name it, they're some of the shyest people you ever find. And then people who are so quiet, it's like when they show the other side, you can't believe it. You can't believe it. Literally. I mean, people get disappointed when they meet me. Like, I've, I've met a few people. And actually, like, I'm so... shocked. You, you're actually saying the truth. Because when I spoke to you, I thought I was going to see this comedian that I see on Instagram. But you were so chilled. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, oh. like, no, I'm, I'm boring, <laughs> man. Like, I think maybe... Man, like my elements of papa. Mm. But... Yeah, there's no... Like, now I think I'm aging gracefully. Like, I'm cool. I'm... I am. So, um, oh, Papa is childish. No, it's not childish. <laughs> it's just, it's just stuff you can't do forever. You know what I mean? Like I can't yeah. cover forever. Like no one will take me serious. Cause like one thing about me and my art and uh -huh. everything is there's so many sub sub minimals. Hey, <laughs> yes, English. There's so many subliminals in my life. And my yeah. way of, of thinking that you have to connect it yourself, you have to get it. Um, mm. so I just have to ensure what he in the long pillar now in the la civil is a is a is a inspire band, you know, right? So, so, so yes, we puppet for a phase, but now we, mm. we're glad him for a phase, you know, like there's different patterns. Oh, we like that. We like that, which is phenomenal. But that, that's 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 entertainment, right? Where you know yeah. where to wear your hat and you know where right. to remove your hat and to yeah. relax, and, right? Yeah. Which is so amazing. And I'm learning a thing or two right there. I am actually taking yeah. notes. Yeah. Everything's a process. Everything's a it process. Is a process. Like yeah. It's essential for you to take time and right. like. You know, know why we are living on this earth first of all, and it's exactly. important to understand and know your purpose. Once you know your purpose, everything and anything that comes at you is nothing. Exactly, you know? and you can overcome anything. And that's it. As long as you know your purpose, you want to make it. And then stick in, then you stick in your lane and and keep moving. Mind your business. It, uh, exactly. You mind your business. Don't it, okay. no one else exists. Uh, uh but now when you talk about minding people's but minding your business, we played a song earlier on. <laughs> we played one of even somebody, even somebody was actually saying, oh, yeah, that's a number. It's like, oh, wow, that's a track. That's a good cut. So is, is it safe to say when you when you release that track, you were still puppering or what happened? Mm, that track came mm. out after COVID. So was I still puppering? No, <laughs> I, still, I still puppering a long time ago. A time ago. No, yeah, this was a long oh. time ago. Yeah, but that track was more in the Bazabantu was more like <laughs> like mm. I was in SA for a camp during COVID. Um, yeah, I was working on some music with a producer that I met online in Chicago. Someone mm. connected me in producing is in mm. and um, no in in SA. So we mm. connected, started working. We worked on so many tracks. Mm. And in the Bazabantu, I don't know if I know. And Lutando were those three tracks that I'd worked on with him. And, you know, it was that time when the piano was kicking off in SA. Mm -hmm. So I'd gone out there, got stuck in SA because of COVID and all these things. Yeah. Got songs. And that was that was a project. Um, it was just in the, we were in studio and it was like, let's make a song about how people just love to gossip. And yeah. You know, let's. Those are the songs that, that people can relate to because gossip mm -hmm. is one thing that's never gonna die. Gossip is what keeps the world going, you know. 
So yeah, we got in the studio with Ucha when we recorded that hit, and it was a vibe, man. One of my favorite songs. I was listening to it. Always a vibe, like everything that you do, even like your comedy, like you, you get people laughing, and yeah. uh, even when you least expect it, where you're like, oh yeah, I'm just doing for plays, right? Yeah. And before you know it, everybody's in it. So I was like, oh my gosh, we get to hang out with Xavier today. Even our producer was like, yes, 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 get that interview. <laughs> No, we appreciate your art. We appreciate your work. And also we're going to be getting briefly into your um, podcast as well. Um, but before we get there, I wanted to, um, to also find out, like, or understand, um, I mean, like, I understand that you've actually been in the game for quite a while, especially in the music industry, because I know um, after the pandemic, you that's when you started the whole, you know, um, podcast, comedy and stuff like that. But the music industry has been, you've been in the game for a while. When did you discover your passion? Or when did you discover that this is what I want to do or take as a path or be known for? I, I discovered my passion uh, I feel like 20 years ago, my grew up 80. So uh -huh. I remember we used to have house parties. And I think yeah. one time I saw this thing was during a house party when she turned yeah. 60, she had a house party. Yeah. And the DJ was late. But when the mm. DJ pulled up, everyone was just so happy to see mm. the DJ. And I thought, wow, mm. what a flipping cool. That guy is cool, man. You know, like, I was just like, yo. Like, everybody was just yeah. waiting for him. And he came and he rocked and, you know, we enjoyed it. You know, so I mean, I grew up listening to Guido and stuff. So, you know, listening to mm. that stuff back then, I'm a figure's old, like, my figure's old, my life, like, listening to music from home back then, mm. just so cool, you know. Mm. Um, but when I find out, um, I think when I first went to uni, that's when I really, like, became this Xavier that everyone knows today. Mm. You know, when I went to, like, maybe, let's say, 2009, where we first were able to express ourselves on video using this app called Keek. Um, oh. So we used to make videos on that, and then eventually Keek died out, then Instagram began, Instagram began, and then, I don't know, Facebook, no, Facebook happened. Yo, it was just, yeah, no, it started off with Facebook, then we had Keek. Keek was the first real app where you could really express yourself using video. So I utilized mm -hmm. Keek, got subscribers, whatnot. And then Instagram were like, no, what videos? I believe in this. They then started doing <laughs> videos. You know, mm -hmm. this is before about TikTok, all that stuff. They then started mm -hmm. doing videos, YouTube before, you know, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And then as that happened, I just kept posting videos, more and more videos. And I think what was refreshing to everyone was the fact to see you hadn't really seen Ama videos, Angelo, from Umuntu Okulu Manjenga you know yeah he, he, yeah he wasn't he was that era of you weren't living in that time yet where you could like express watch tiktok videos like you can now you know that's that thing was limited not a lot of people were really embracing themselves visually and for me yeah man people think i'm funny i don't try to act funny but people just think i'm funny so i just yeah i was just making funny videos man no, you are funny. How can you say people think you're funny? You people are actually. I'm just... fine. I, yeah. I was doing on click there, but people think I'm fine. I'm what funny. You what you when are you actually saying? What do people think you're funny? Yet you actually know that you're funny. I'm not funny, but people think I'm funny. So does that fight make me funny? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I actually think it's actually uh, uh it's I'm it's, it's funny. Right. I'm not funny, but people think I'm funny, so I'm funny. So. We keep people they making do. me funny when I'm not funny. So you take it. Yeah, it's it's cool, man. Um, but okay. I think like um right now I'm I'm focused and serious about what I want to achieve. Life can be funny later. We can laugh about this now. <laughs> later. But now but we're not doing funny things. It's that simple. 
Sinner and that's what I'm saying. Like a lot of people will be like, ah, oh, you know. Yeah, they're like, ah, you know, you used to post your videos on Facebook. You're not funny anymore. Well, that's not funny, bro. <laughs> Not funny. Too, bad. too bad for them, eh? Yeah, like, you must chill. Life's not funny. So I always say to you, relax, man. Don't rush me. Like, let me make funny videos when I'm in the mood, you know. But I, I need to just... um, I need to... I needed to, you know, recuperate. Mm. Yeah. And people don't understand funny? the whole care ah do i look funny to you <laughs> hey <laughs> at me. no no nah, but yeah not the importance of self-care mental health like all that stuff is real like it's yes very important. especially i think if you're like um con- like you can't just know me from social media and mm-hmm. conclude me and conclude day <laughs> like, no, that you can't conclude me. You can't, can't you can you can't like your ID cannot conclude me. So I'm I'm unconcludable. There you go. And then you you have your own dictionary. We love that about you as well. Yeah. No, and like what, that was not in the dictionary concludable. No, TV. no, unconcludable. Yeah, unconcludable. This I'm is the moment. That you, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm concluding. It's not in the dictionary. I'm concludable. <laughs> Maybe yeah. I'm concludable, but I'm concluding. I don't know which dictionary but that is. I'm concludable. There's someone in Zimbabwe called I'm concluding. <laughs> typical. Like, typical. Like, excuse me. I'm concludable. <laughs> they could not conclude. What? <laughs> Uncomputable. <laughs> that's that's zip for you. What can you do? Zip for you. That's what they do. They give names based off of what's happening. If they're in a situation, eh? Yeah. If they can't yeah. conclude anything, they'll say unconcludable. This was unconcludable. It just came untimely. <laughs> but anyway, why in the music industry, why did you gravitate towards I'm a piano? Or um. You said you grew up listening to Kwaito, and then yeah. now you're so deep into Ama Piano, and we're going to get deeper with that Ama Piano groove, Umbuzo. We have more into that, like comparing yeah. essays and fun yeah. stuff. I think, uh, why Ama Piano? I think Ama Piano chose me more mm-hmm. than anything. I okay. First started, I don't really think I was a fan of it. Um... But I, I liked it, um, you know. So what did you do before I was piano? I've always your... been into like, I've always been into house music. Um, I've always yeah. been into Afro pop. I've always been into um, I've always just been into SA house. That's always been like my life long sound, mm. you know. Um, from Afro pop, Brenda Fassi, my figure solo, gospel, Rebecca Maloghe. Mm. Malopi Lundi, all the commercial mm. guys, you know, that stuff I grew up to on a Saturday cleaning at home. Oh, nice. So that's, that was like always my vibe, you know, that's why I always gravitate to that soft music because it's <clears throat> what I understand and it's what, what I got at that time, you know, I grew, I grew up in a house where that music was consistently played. And then I think when Nama Piano came, it was refreshing and I was just curious mm. at how nice it was and i was already making southern african music um mm. you know the same production so i just wanted to also jump on the vibe because the vibe mm. was 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 perfect and i mm. gradually gradually went into that process i connected with ujabo dj jabs and we began working until i officially he sent me a beat where i was like no man I would love to record this song here, but I can't record it here. I need to come mm. and record it. And I went to SA, and that's when we recorded that jam. And I don't know if I know, it's like probably one of my biggest songs. And that was like my first real, like, I'm a piano tune. And um, it was nice because we shot that in SA. Everything about it was just flawless. And, you know, from then I grew a relationship with the jam when we recorded more stuff. 
But oh, yeah, nice. it's always been how do we transition the comedy into the music and the music back into the comedy. That's always mm-hmm. just a process. But with Ama Piano, you know, I'm still learning and understanding different ways of making it work. Nice. Of which you're actually doing a good job. It's as if, like you're saying, if something calls you rather than you looking for it, it's it comes out different. Yeah. It does come out different compared, you know, to people trying so hard when possibly it may not be a genre, but you're actually doing it well. And so rumor actually has it that I'm a piano. We we as Africans. Mm know it as um you, we know that it re- it originates from south africa i would like to think and no yeah. and from yeah south from south africa although zimbabwe is also part of the southern part of africa and we're net we're neighboring countries to south africa so but the funny thing is i'm a piano they say it's huge because of zimbabweans True or false, and why? I don't know worldwide, but I can speak for like UK, hundred percent. Maybe diaspora, young England. England, yes. Yeah, Tina is my Amazons. Like we're everywhere. It's just like the Nigerians. That's why Afrobeat is so big because the Nigerians are everywhere, and they're getting streams like all over the place. So Tina. Mm -hmm. We play some responsibility in making sure that Ama Piano has um, is being accepted anywhere else in the world world. And what people need to accept realistically as South Africans, I would mm. say they need to understand that South Africans don't really leave the country much. So they rely on other people to push their, their craft. You know, that's why, you know, if you look at... If you think how many people were example piano, yeah, piano right now it's 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 heavily dominated by people from Zimbabwe who are the ones pushing the sound further out in the world. Like that's the true fact of it. Yes, everyone else in the world listens to Ama Piano and they've accepted mm-hmm. Ama Piano as the dominating genre because of some of what people saw in um in South Africa at the time of COVID. South Africa was one of the few countries that was open. So yes, people were able to access that via TikTok. But when it comes to physically pushing the sound to the masses, I would say mm. the markets in Canada, in Australia, in 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 the UK, in Europe, wherever wherever you can think of it. But there's more Zimbabweans in that country or city than they are South Africans, like fact. Mm, so that's true, though. The good thing is that South Africans, um, Zimbabweans actually understand the language for them to mm. enjoy the music and obviously vibe with the sound because it's relatable to what they've grown up listening to or what they relate to at home. So, yeah. <laughs> But somebody once put on, was it? I, I think I saw this week where somebody was like, okay, if you want to hear, I'm a piano. They just say one or two sentences. I mean, one or two, two, two or three words. And before you know it, it's just a beat the whole yeah. time. That's, <laughs> that's, 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 it's just the beat that takes people away. Yeah. That's the beauty of music. It should be, yeah. that, it should be that music has got that feeling that the beat can just enter you in a different way. Like music yeah. is all about feeling. And the sooner, you know, feeling the vibe and how you feel. And yeah. Amar Piano, since COVID, has made the world like a, a better place. Um, the world was stopped for Amar Piano to be embraced. And the world's only going to get to hear Amar Piano more and more. They're going to be. From Afrobeat to Ama Piano, hey. Eh? So, yeah. what what do you? Okay, actually, I've heard a lot of people asking this question: Afrobeat yeah. or Ama Piano? Uh, Afrobeat has some nice melodies. They they make some nice music as well. Yeah. But piano, yeah, Ama Piano. Ama Piano is different. <laughs> the 
There you go. And I hope they understand what is different. That's what yeah. makes it different, right? Different. It's different. So let's talk about um about the vibe podcast. But before we talk about the vibe, somebody just said in Dabazavanto, Aye Wayaga Penga, it is dope. Um, you did a good job on that one. Thanks. So like, yeah, I am actually going to be passing on the message because people are actually tuned in right now. So they yes. said that's actually a dope one because even when we're playing it, they're like, Oh my gosh, what's the name of that song? And right mm-hmm. now as we're talking, they're like, Yeah, that one is a is a jam. You know, being the but anyway, <laughs> so let's talk about the vibe podcast. And but before we get into that, those who are actually tuning in right now, we're actually hanging out with the talented artist, not only musical artist he is, but he is also a content creator where he does comedy on social media as well as um now he has a podcast that we're actually getting into that we're going to be talking about the vibe podcast so i believe the fact that you said you know you love the vibe of this miss tando amy do i qualify to come on the podcast 100 percent, man that's what well, that's all it's about <laughs> the vibe and your vibe is correct so vibe. Uh, that one is not even it's not even for for asking sake no 100 percent Hundred percent. Are you are you pulling up yeah. as a guest or as a host? How are you pulling up? No, as a guest. Hey, I need to be guested all for once. Vagiti. No. I've been hosting all my no. entire Just years. Making sure, making sure, Pela, because you know the last <laughs> thing you want to do is get it wrong. No, hundred percent. Yeah. No, I like think, the correct vibes. I think uh, like the world's perspective perspective is necessary because we all live like different lives and we will have our own stories and it's, it's essential for everyone's story your story my story to be heard not now absolutely not not for not for like the next week or so but eventually everyone's story it's important to like it's important to us it's important mm. to the world everyone needs to understand your story um, no one knows what happens when we die, but exactly. our stories are going to live on forever and ever. So is that what the Vibe um, podcast is all about? People sharing their stories, sharing their journeys, or yeah. what vibes would people have to bring for them to be a part of the podcast, either as a guest or joining you as a host? I think as a human, you are your own vibe. Ooh. <laughs> As Check you are your own, yeah, your, your own vibe. That's and, it. Uh, yeah, you're your own vibe, and you have to um, be part of a vibe of the of the vibe. What is the vibe? Mm-hmm. The vibe is the vibe is you. The vibe mm-hmm. is people. The vibe is us as humans. You know, so Absolutely. you have to. You just have to be you know, understand that you are the vibe, most importantly. So what made you start the podcast? Um, what made me start the podcast is I've never had to, I've never had the opportunity to share my story. Ooh, chai! So we get to hear your story in each um, episode, or how, at what point in do due, we get to hear your story? Due, in due time, at the moment... Yeah. Good to listen before you speak. So I'm still listening to people. Oh, okay, okay. I'm still listening. I'm still finding out about people, and um, yeah. and I think when the time comes, when my story is relevant, it will be yeah. because um, my my history is rich and my oh, is like richer. Right. No, we like that. So let's talk about what's happening to more. Row in Edmonton. You're in Edmonton. You're in Alberta. You're in Canada. So, Why are you in Canada? What are you doing in Canada? Like, yes. Let's talk about the vibe being correct uh, for the podcast. Yeah, no, the vibe. Hey, the vibe is is on a mission to mm. give the world what it needs, and that is mm. vibe. So important to spread vibe. Um, I think we're all living lives of uncertainty, lives of, you know, lives of um, 
we don't know what's going to happen but mm. important for us to um have faith which is vibe and good energy so tomorrow mm. i'm in i'm in edmonton mm-hmm. um i go uh, i linked up with t um i linked up with t a few years ago we linked up again over summer you know mm-hmm. and now now we're, we're here again in canada trying mm-hmm. to create something important for the um for the coming world you know it's all about leaving a, a legacy that's and it i'm here to support t with global global groove mm-hmm. and um yeah the world shall groove accordingly in due time the way they're supposed to so yeah i'm in canada to give my energy and put my energy on on um yeah out or not to the world so that's that's the plan that's the plan i'm looking forward to that show we had sound check today it was good the vibes were piano ring and yeah okay. and a part of me actually kind of feels bad i'm thinking oh my gosh the jet lag must be massive because it's like what 7 8 hour difference coming yeah, from yeah, yeah yeah so even now even yesterday today i'm still trying to adjust <laughs> i'll adjust oh, quickly okay. i still have like a few um a few hours to get into the normal timings of things yeah. um, so now i'll be fresh for tomorrow but it's cool um yeah man it's it's interesting how at back home i'd usually be sleeping at a certain time like now i'd be asleep like it's like 5 5 a.m. yeah i'm dreaming about god knows <laughs> but, ah, this time it's late about the joke. <laughs> yeah, so it's interesting, man. I never really used to understand this whole jet lag thing, but yeah, yeah it's real. <laughs> All it's right. Yeah. So people, please do join um, Xavier tomorrow at the Ama Piano Afrobeats. That's going to be held um, by, that's going to be hosted by Global Groove, which, um, by the way, is one, uh, if not the first, of a T's um, event. T, who happens to be Thomas, for those who, who've known him, um, who's worked back-to-back or who's worked with um, one of our late uh, promoters of all times here in Edmonton, like there in Edmonton. Now I'm no longer based in Edmonton. Um, Starbucks, Uta, may his soul continue to rest in peace. And he's like, you know what? I am going to take on what my friend had started. And this is it. And this is the start of something different where we're going to be having Xavier as the host. And, you know, Anzi, come and let's fill the vibe together and end the year correct, guys. So please do come through and if you haven't gotten your tickets it's only 20 bucks guys it's only 20 bucks and we see a comment that just came through here from grace amy you're supposed to be there i know you know me i i host so many events as well girl i wish i could make it but yes perhaps next time so you know um xavier this is actually to your sister <laughs> Yeah. Ah, oh, his network yeah, is just. Be here. I I double I, I double message. And I'm still here though. I can hear. You. Okay, there you go. Now I'm saying um, this is T's sister. <laughs> yeah, and I'm also seconding the message. I'm saying times two. Yes, you should be. Oh no! There. I know, yo, it is. It, it's actually clashing. I am so disappointed. I'm like, oh, darn, man. I have two events this weekend, <laughs> which yeah. is yeah. So how's, that's the, okay. how's the Canada scene? The Canada scene is not too bad. It's not too bad. I think maybe because, like you said, it's just the vibe being correct, and I have made my name in Edmonton and now I'm I just moved from Edmonton so I'm trying to make my name outside of Edmonton now nice, so, nice. yeah so it's just one of those um oh so Nkosana said we are ready we are tuned in we are ready and they're coming so Nkosana is one of the bangers you said you met you probably met half of bangers maybe yeah, you met so Nkosana, that's it yeah yeah because yeah. 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 usually is based here in calgary probably is going to make it tomorrow i am not too sure but shout okay. out to you Nkosana. 
thank you so much uh, for being part of our global grooves. Like tomorrow's I'm a piano Afrobeat, and there's gonna be bangers, there's gonna be Winter's Majesty, there's gonna be DJ Turn Up, and there's going to be Ghetto General and Donnie C. So, guys, you do not want to miss out this end of year party that's gonna be happening in Edmonton. And this is quite exciting. I see my girl, uh, Mickey Michelle, she's actually in SA at the moment. Shout out to you, Mickey, for tuning in and waking up at this hour and supporting not only the radio and we spent two hours together oh shout out yeah, to you blessings, bro. Shout out yeah. your heart yeah yeah, so cool, so man. yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's he's amazing he's phenomenal yeah. But yeah, so thank you so much, guys. And if you haven't gotten your tickets yet, please do um, get your tickets. Just look for Global Groove or I'm a Piano Afro Beats on, um, what do you call it, on Eventbrite. Um, on Eventbrite, or if you want to do a quick jam, you can find it. Just get in touch with the number that's on screen right there, which is 7808932004. Once again, the number is 7808932004. And if you have any questions, just buzz that number. And wait, wait to see um, our brother Xavier do his thing there. Right now, of course, he's probably, you know, jet lagged and tired, but tomorrow will be a totally different vibe. If you don't follow him on Instagram, if you don't follow him on X, if you don't follow him on, where else are you? Um, what do you call it? TikTok. Uh, Is it TikTok? Yeah. Yeah, TikTok. Uh, X, you call yeah. it X, Twitter, Twitter X. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, day, nice. so, yeah, yeah. Make sure, guys, if you don't follow me already, make sure you follow me official Xavier O F I S H A L X A V. There you go, there you go, guys. So, if you don't, then you better start doing that. And trust me, you will thank us later. You will thank us later because you will be laughing your lungs. Oh, this guy is so talented. As much as he said, Good to oh my gosh, I just did it for fun. And before you know it, he is now actually doing comedy because he is actually another Trevor Noah. I am just saying. Or maybe. He... <laughs> Trevor Noah, man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> My brother, yes, my brother. It's like you come from the same tree. Like, what the oh, hell? Yeah. Like, you come yeah. from the tree. Like, you do it effortlessly. You do it effortlessly. It's like, when you're watching it, you're like, are you kidding me? Like, at what time? What point? Why? Like, uh, how? How do you think uh, about it? I always hear that Trevor Noah thing, but, like, yeah. I don't believe it because I don't understand. I don't really watch, like, Trevor Noah content, but I need to maybe, so that I you understand what you mean. I don't like watch his stuff, but yeah, stand up is something that I'll do in due time, like in in, in yeah, years to come. Yeah, you should, you should, you should. He is. It's 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 quite um. Yeah, you 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 guys kind of have you resemble quite a bit. You have a bit of resemblance within each other. It's like it's it's phenomenal. Yeah. And then when you yeah. tell people, oh yeah, I am I was born in SA, people will be like, okay, now we get it. Mm. You understand? I don't know how. But yeah, you actually do a good job at um what you do. And Perfect. so also who else? Yes, Mr. Kaguro is in and he's saying the vibe is correct. correct. So please do come through because the vibe is definitely gonna be correct tomorrow. So do come through if you haven't gotten your tickets yes yet, please go on Eventbrite to get your ticket. Um you don't want to do it last minute because you already know last minute costs a little bit bit more at the door but you know what it's only 20 bucks right now and if you have any questions contact 780-893-2004 or and also just so you know what's lined up for you the dj's lined up tomorrow you're going to be having bangers you're going to be having winter's majesty you're going to be having dj tanup you're going to be having ghetto general and you're going to be having donny c so please do come through and you know all these people never disappoint it's just that right now we just had to import somebody really important all the way from the UK who's also doing amazing yeah. things for himself. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> You're like, huh? Yeah, yeah no, <laughs> no, like Canada's is okay. The vibe is no, we love you, the man. Too much. The vibe, the vibe is, is too much. Eh? No, we Canada's yeah. just too big. Canada's massive. You guys it have too much massive. space. You guys Dude. need like more buildings. Dude. I landed in England last year. 
I couldn't believe it. It was yeah, culture man. shock. It was yeah. culture shock. It was like, I was like, now I get why England colonized half of the world. I get it. I get it. Like, I couldn't because believe it. Multicultural, like, stupid. Ooh, ooh, like, gane, washed, yeah. gane, I couldn't. I couldn't. And you I was like, too much space here. like, you guys. We got land, brother. Yeah. We got land. <laughs> too much space. Like, it's ridiculous. I'll go here. You can move. It's okay. Yeah, like, hey, I don't know. You know. <laughs> If you can endure yeah. minus 40 in the winter, if you can endure minus 40. Yeah, I, I, obviously I heard that, you know, so it's all about adjusting and, and you know, all that, you know. So I can do minus 40. I'm like, yo, Canada, you know, like, you know I'll be in Calgary, like Toronto. I'm like, yes, hey, yes, I'm yes. I'll be like, everybody, you feel me? Like, you know how I get, you know how I get. You know, you know how I get. Just the accent has got a hold on me right now. You know, so I just do a bit more lesson and I'll be all right. You feel me? Oh, God, we appreciate you. But no, thank you so much, X, for coming through. We really, really appreciate you. Thank you for your time, to tomorrow um you know for the people that are actually going to be there i am sure it's 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 going to be a good turnout and um having this you know phenomenal djs was we're going to be backing you up and you know i am so proud of mr kagoro for you know putting all this together and bringing people yeah. together you know and having this you know vibe correcting the vibe ending the year correct is what i am you know i've been saying like end the year correct with such a phenomenal artist like you blessings man appreciate that shout yeah. out to you as well so yeah, yeah. my vibes my vibes are you know the address come vibe with us it will be a feeling that you didn't know you could have with music different <laughs> levels you won't believe it you won't believe it guys you won't believe it Please do go live. Any last words to any everybody, um, people who are listening or tuned in right now, or what to expect uh, tomorrow? Yeah, no, embrace your embrace your greatness. Mm -hmm. um, that's all I'll say. Embrace your greatness, people, and uh, comparison kills. Be you. There's only one you. There's only one X. There's only one T. One A. So please do embrace you because guess what. Everybody else is taken. That's what I say. But thank you so much, Mr. Xavier, for tuning in. And we appreciate you, I mean, for coming through. And to all our listeners for tuning in. And I, I, I don't know. Actually, by the way, congratulations on the release of the new video of Queen Yami. By the way, yes, we love it. We love it. We love it. It's fire. It's like, oh, like, okay, this is creativity on another level, yo. Like. I don't know what to do with you. I don't know what to do with you. Uh, it's too much. It's too much, eh? Even me, I don't know what to do with myself. I don't even have an idea. <laughs> I was. I, 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 don't, I don't do myself. That's you all I can <laughs> going to see this guy you're gonna tell me this guy is going to be on the forefront he might even go on stage his name is ted the honorable style he's like wow voice is so legendary i'm not too sure whose voice is so legendary because we have a talented musical artist and we have a dj host here i have no idea yes. but shut up Eddie. ah allow it we're not <laughs> have you ever heard yours <laughs> and you actually performed at noma's no, wedding what? shout out to you or maybe you you were just there. I saw him at Noma's yes. wedding. I have a what a legendary voice. Yes, you have a legendary voice. Yes, sir. Do you said you have a legendary voice? Uh since the Shavela Lami Okay. Blessings. Tango. Tango. Ah, Minang Shavel in Yakala. Different. Oh yeah, Kala. Lami say fungu kala. Different. No, we truly appreciate it and we appreciate your time coming through. This was the talented Xavier that who um that just came through today. And please do um follow him on his socials everywhere. He's actually on Instagram, he's on TikTok, mm -hmm. he's on uh I think we lost him. I just got a message right now. 
Oh, voices, yeah. Um, but those who actually tuned in, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, please do go um, to tomorrow's I'm a Piano event that is uh, going to be happening in Edmonton. I was about to say Edmonton, but then my Edmontonians will actually kill me if I say Edmonton. They'll be like, oh, now you think you're better saying that word. But there is actually going to be I'm a Piano Afrobeats happening tomorrow in Edmonton. Uh, at, and would like to appreciate every Everybody that was tuned in today please uh, do stay tuned on air this is now done our interview is done um, with our visuals um, be it Facebook LinkedIn our Instagram unfortunately it didn't go through because Instagram is actually still new on this platform so they yet to actually fix it up because as soon as we got on air it just gave us an error we're like okay well cool we've actually done it without Instagram before so definitely we can do without it but do not despair those who are actually tuning in right now or came late in the interview we're actually going to be having our um this interview up on our YouTube channel and if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel now, please do subscribe to After Five Radio. Oh, my loves never likes to you, Natanda. Thank you so much, Teddy. And if you're actually not tuned in right now, please do tune in to After Five Radio, our um, your number one online radio station, uh, hosted by yours truly, um, the hype lady, Miss Tando Amy. The link is right below here, www.afterfiveradio.net. So I will see you there as we have uh, so much fun with more music and i feel like a lot of people kind of fell in love people were actually commenting more on in Zavant. okay so i was asking okay which one should i play but i guess the votes just came in the votes just came in and said please do play in Zavant. so this is in Zavant by the talented xavier please do enjoy take care god bless you and i love you Mwah. bye